Hello, my name is Nadia Sovi and I'm a PhD student at the University of Florida. And today we are um, just north of Route 200 in Newton, Georgia at the Jones Ecological Research Center at Ichiwe. And it's about 10 o'clock and I've just finished up checking my uh, squirrel traps for my morning check. And I have captured a gray squirrel. Now he was at a site which is approximately five kilometers here because I'm going to be removing gray squirrels from that site in order to try to understand how reducing that competition from gray squirrels impacts the activity of fox squirrels in that area. So in order to uh, handle him in a way that is safe for me and for him, I'm going to get him into this handling cone, which I actually call a squirrel squisher. I'm going to put this at the end of his trap, open the trap, and hopefully he will see, uh, he or she will see, light at the end of this and try to go right in it and actually get himself um, nice and stuck so that he can be um, accessed uh, and he's restrained so he can't bite me and he isn't thrashing around and potentially hurting himself. And it's a lot safer for him and for me that he's uh, safely restrained while I am uh, tagging it, weighing it, and uh, processing it. So on other ways that I am ensuring the animal's safety in my own, because I am obviously by myself today, is I've uh, carefully prepared all of the uh, things that I'm going to need in order to uh, process him. Okay, now that I've made sure, I've double checked that I have everything ready to go, it's time to get the squirrel out of the trap. Now luckily, he's actually kind of grumpy, he's been growling at me in there, and that actually means that they might be easier to get out uh, than the squirrels that are a little calmer because he's going to see that light and really want to go towards it. See, he came right out. <laughs> and the first things first is we're gonna get a weight on him. The next thing I'm going to do is try to get a sex. So looking at its reproductive organs no. is a scrotal male. Um, and I'm also just generally taking a look at his condition, checking for parasites, and this animal is actually in very good condition. He has a nice uh, full tail. I'm gonna take his back foot out to measure it. Okay, the next, the next and final thing that we are gonna do is measure and mark his ear. It's hard. All right, it's successfully in there. And you can hear that he uh, has something to say about that process. Okay, and he's about uh, ready to be let go in his new home. I'm gonna let him into the bag and let you get a better look at him. So now that I have a good hold on him, I'll pull him out so you can get a good look at him. You're embarrassing me in front of my friends. Okay. <laughs> so he got away before I was able to neospore in his nose. But he had a good time. And he went right up that oak tree. And he's going to live, hopefully, a great life. And help me understand how fox squirrels and gray squirrels uh, live together in this ecosystem. And so since I started this video, it was about 19 minutes, so I didn't have him out of the bag and stressed for all that long. Um, and that's the goal. All right, thanks for dropping in and have a great day.